Hello, welcome back. It starts to get dark, but it's not evening. It's like this in my country, Denmark. It's uh, 3 3 30, 3 30 p.m. Let's finish uh, reading. I got that shower to saving, but that's many hours ago. And I need some uh, cola. We could, uh, could close this. Why not? No, I don't like to close it. Let's wait just a little bit more daylight, <clears throat> like uh, one hour more maybe. So that. Oh, just close it. I need some cola. Should maybe just close, but that's dark really long time to like 8 a.m. in the morning. But uh, we could do that, close the curtains. I was just to clean my uh, bathtub. Got the shower the shaving. The water will not get out. I have dirt, dirt from the grape from, from the drains. No, I have dirt from the drain is getting up. Like this one. But this video is about uh, to buy airports. like to read about <coughs> Dubai Airport again. It's one of the world's biggest airports. And we have this COP28 uh, in a few days. And I just read about Dubai World Airport. Dubai World Airport. It's a new city center close to Dubai called uh, Dubai South with big uh, business, business and trade. It's trying to finish my uh, cola. But we can close. So we'll serve the curtain for today. Let's do that. I think I'd like to read about the Emirates. Emirates Airlines. That's a really big, that just been a big Dubai Air Show. Dubai Air Show a few days, a few days ago, a few weeks, one week ago. <coughs> so they have ordered a lot of new aircraft, many big, like Emirates and Fly Dubai. Have ordered a lot of new uh, <coughs> aircraft, Boeing, Boeing and Airbus. So let's uh, finish reading, then I will uh, go to my bed. But I'm laying in my bed most of my day. Need a, need a good chair, good uh, gamer chair, and a couch. 
a sofa. Yes, let's uh, try finish. Smart gate immigration counters at passport control fraudulent documents. The airport uses highly sensitive equipment to conduct thorough searches on travelers into the UAE, including screening for smuggling, possessing or taking illegal drugs in the country. 255. A senior Dubai judge was quoted on 11 February 2008 by seven days saying. These laws help discourage Enin from carrying or using drugs. Even if the amount of illegal drugs found on someone is 0.05 grams, they will be found guilty. The penalty is a minimum four years if it is for personal use. The message is clear drugs will not be tolerated. 255. A number of travelers have been held pending charge while Dubai authorities test their possessions blood and urine for any trace of contraband. 256. In 2018, Hopi Rebel Group claimed that Dubai Airport had been attacked by drones launched by Hopi Rebels from Yemen. In response, Dubai Airport stated with regards to reports by questionable sources this morning, Dubai Airports can confirm that Dubai International DXB is operating as normal without any interruption. 257 operations. Since there are international flights operating out from the airport, the terminals are equipped with immigration processing facilities and security scanning for all passengers, <coughs> including domestic and regional passengers. Terminals 1 and 3 handle 95% of the international flights whilst Terminal 2 mainly caters to regional flights and international flights routed to other airports in Middle East. Emirates Airline operates from only Terminal 3. Conversely, low-cost carriers such as Flea Dubai operate flights out of Terminal 2. 258. Passenger growth at the airport has been growing at an average rate of 18%. The airport reached its capacity of 33 million passengers per annum by 2007, however, this was still not enough to handle the growing over-congestion at the airport. In 2013, the airport's capacity reached 75 million with the opening of Concorsa and expansion of Terminal 2. Passenger traffic for 2014 grew by 7.5% as 70.48 million passengers passed through Dubai International, compared to 66.43 million during the corresponding period in 2013. 259. Growth slowed down in 2014 due to the 80-day runway resurfacing project, which saw DXB operate with only one runway between May and July. In 2014, India was DXB's biggest destination with 8.91 million passengers. The UK, Saudi Arabia and Pakistan followed with 5.38 million, 4.88 million and 3.13 million respectively. London's Heathrow became the top city destination, recording 2,626,357 passengers. Doha followed it with 2,355,959.260. dot two hundred and sixty in 2020. Dubai International Airport's first quarter passenger traffic fell down by 67.8% and reached 5.75 million. This is even lower than the statistics presented last year in the same quarter. 261. In 2022, Dubai International Airport registered strong recovery and robust growth in its customer base that propelled annual passenger numbers to 66 million.
The airport's growth outpaced the annual forecast in the final months of year following an exceptionally strong fourth quarter. 262 cargo. The airport handled 2.37 million tons of air cargo in 2014, a decrease of 3.1% over 2013, making it the sixth busiest air freight hub in the world and the busiest in the Middle East. Three. The decline was due to the runway closure, and the shifting of many cargo flights from DXB to Al Maktoum International Airport. Ground Transportation Road D89 leading to Dubai Airport The airport is connected by the road D89. One of the longest intracity roads, D89 begins at the Deira Cornish and runs perpendicular to D85, Bainiria's Road. From Deira, the road progresses southeastward towards Dubai International Airport, intersecting with E311, Emirates Road, past the airport. 263, a road tunnel underneath one of the runways was built in 2003. 264, Metro. The airport is served by Dubai Metro, which operates two lines through or near the airport. The red line has a station at each of Terminal 3 and Terminal 1. Services run between 6 a.m. and 11 p.m. every day except Friday, when they run between 1 p.m. and midnight. These timings differ during the Islamically month of Ramadan. The stations are located in front of both terminals and can be accessed directly from the arrivals areas. The green line has at a station near the airport free zone from which passengers can connect to Terminal 2. 265. The purple and blue lines are under construction and these two lines will also have a station. 266. Bus. Dubai buses operated by RTA run a number of routes to the city, but mainly Deira, and are available at the airport ground transportation center and the arrivals at every terminal. Passengers who need to transfer between terminals 1 and 3, and terminal 2 can use the inter-terminal shuttle bus service which operates frequently. Bus stations are situated opposite both terminal 1, 2 and 3. Local buses Co 1, 11, 15, 24, N30, 32C, 33, 64 and 77 can be used to connect with Terminal 1 and 3, while Bus 13B, 20, C26, N30, 31, and 43 connects with Terminal 2. Dubai International Airport buses provide air conditioned transport into the city center and over 80 hotels in the city. Emirates offers a complimentary coach service which operates three daily services to and from Al Ain, and four daily, to and from Abu Dhabi. 267, so does Etihad. Taxi. The airport is served by the government-owned Dubai Taxi Agency, which provides 24-hour service at the arrivals in every terminal. The airport taxi fares are rather quite higher than the usual 5 AD fare for normal taxis but rather 500% of the fare starting from 25 dirhams. Accidents and incidents. On the 14th of March, 1972, Sterling Airways Flight 296 crashed on approach to Dubai, killing 112. On the 20th of July, 1973, Japan Airlines Flight 404 was a passenger flight which was hijacked by Palestinian and Japanese terrorists. The flight was hijacked shortly after takeoff from Schiphol and made a stop in Dubai before flying to Damascus. On the 27th of December, 1997, a Pakistan Airlines Boeing 747 plane from Karakai to London, crashed when landing at Dubai Airport. It overshot the runway and went through the perimeter wall before coming to rest. No one was killed. On the 22nd of November, 1974, British Airways Flight 870, a Vickers VC-10, 
from Dubai to Heathrow, Washij act in Dubai, landing at Tripoli for refueling before flying on to Tunis. One hostage was murdered before the hijackers eventually surrendered after 84 hours. Captain Jim Future Ways awarded the Queen's Gallantry Medal, the Guild of Air Pilots and Air Navigators Founders Medal, the British Airline Pilots Association Gold Medal and a Certificate of Commendation from British Airways for his actions during the hijacking, having returned to the aircraft to fly it knowing the hijackers were on board. 268.